This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Check out this animal real quick. Just an average lizard, right? Wrong. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the tuatara. A rare reptile found only in New Zealand that is definitely more than meets the eye. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number 1. They're not actually lizards. Here's a quick and very oversimplified lesson on reptile taxonomy. Get ready to hear me pronounce some big words wrong. Reptiles belong to the class Reptilia. Living today within Reptilia are the orders Testodines, the order containing turtles and tortoises, Crocodilia, the Crocodilians, Squamata, the snakes and lizards, and Rhynchocephalia the tuataras. So even though lizards and tuataras look so similar, lizards are actually more closely related to snakes than they are to tuataras. Number two, they have three eyes. The third is located on the top of their head and is only clearly visible for the first four to six months of its life, after which it's covered by a thin layer of scales. It's called the parietal eye and its exact function is still not entirely understood. Parietal eyes can be found in other animals, such as some species of lizards, fish, and frogs. But the tuatara's parietal eye is the most well-developed of any animal alive today. It comes fully equipped with a small lens, retina, and cornea. Although the third eye can't see shapes or colors, it is photosensitive, meaning it can distinguish between light and dark. This means that the tuatara can tell whether it's nighttime or daytime without even opening its eyes. Which is almost impressive. Kind of. Not really. Number 3. Weird Teeth the tuatara's face hole is perhaps the strangest of any reptile. The tip of the upper jaw is beak-like and separated from the rest of the jaw by a notch. The tuatara's teeth are arranged in two rows on the upper jaw and one row on the lower jaw, which interlock perfectly when the mouth is closed. One more thing, these teeth aren't actually teeth. Instead of being separate structures from the rest of the jaw like regular teeth, tuatara teeth are just sharp projections jutting out from the jawbone. This means that the teeth can't fall out or be replaced, so over time, older tuataras have to switch to softer prey such as slugs or worms. Number 4. They like it cold. Unlike the vast majority of reptiles, tuataras thrive at temperatures between 16 and 21 degrees Celsius, or 61 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. However, they still remain active when temperatures drop to as low as 5 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit, while temperatures over 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit are generally fatal. <sighs> Living in colder conditions and having a lower body temperature means that the tuatara has a much slower metabolism than other reptiles. Which brings us to number 5. They take things slow. Believe it or not, tuataras grow and mature at an even slower rate than humans. They take 10 to 20 years to reach sexual maturity and only stop growing at age 35. The average lifespan of a tuatara in the wild is roughly 60 years, but they can live to be well over 100 years old. Some experts even believe that tuataras can live to be up to 200 years old in ideal conditions. Not only do they grow slowly, they reproduce more slowly than any other reptile. It takes female tuataras between 1 and 3 years to provide the egg with yolk, and then another 7 months to form the egg's shell. On top of that, it takes between 12 and 15 months for the eggs to hatch after they've been fertilized. Do a little bit of math, and that means that reproduction occurs at 2-5 to five year intervals. This makes conservation projects and captive breeding a task that requires a lot of patience. But that patience will absolutely pay off if we can continue to bring these unique and bizarre reptiles back from the brink of extinction. Why should we? Over 200 million years ago, the order Rhynchocephalia contained 17 different families and at least 30 different species. Most of these went extinct due to natural causes. Today, the order contains only one family, one genus, and two species. Sphenodon punctatus and Sphenodon guntheri, both of which came very close to extinction due to the threats of invasive species and habitat loss. Thankfully, conservation efforts by the New Zealand government have been very successful in the past few decades. These animals allow us a glance at what life might have been like for reptiles living on the planet hundreds of millions of years ago. They provide a link to prehistory that would otherwise cease to exist. And I think that's something absolutely worth preserving. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what weird animals you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video, and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. If you want to see more of me for some reason, here's all this stuff. And until next time, my friends, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts.